So my name is Paul Conn and the zebra I have in my family is uh, Huntington's disease, which affects my wife and my daughter has also recently tested positive. Uh, so Huntington's has been in our, our family on my wife's side for several generations uh, that we're aware of. Um, it's hard to ascertain what came before that. Um, my wife was diagnosed in um, with the gene uh, in about 2001, 2002. We lost Elaine's mom to Huntington's disease. She was 72 when she died. She was completely bed fast. She was fed through a tube. Her speech was gone and her swallowing also was significantly affected. But thankfully, her faculties, her mental faculties, for the most part, were, were retained, which is a godsend. My wife in the mid-stages of the condition. And that affects her uh, to a certain extent in terms of mobility. She's on a lot of medications uh, to, to obviously um, contain the condition. But she has been referred now to uh, the University College London, which are the specialists in the UK, where we hope she can get some uh, significant help. Charlotte has also been diagnosed with the condition, my oldest daughter, and that obviously has had its own impacts. The diagnosis itself um, was quite elusive, to be honest. Uh, as things were developing uh, for my wife and it became apparent that something wasn't right, I approached the local GP at the time for some help. And um, the answer he gave me was not the answer I was looking for at all. It was downright unhelpful, if I'm honest. Thankfully, the other GP in the practice got where I was coming from and understood that actually she needed some additional medications which would help contain those symptoms. Yes, I had heard about it. Um, I'd actually looked after some patients who had it uh, when I was a, a student nurse. I had the advantage of being a medical professional prior to, so therefore the exposure for me was there. I think for the vast majority of people, uh, they wouldn't have an idea about it. Thankfully, there is a great deal more done now by the various different charities and organisations who are looking at uh, changing the landscape for Huntington's disease so that more is done and more is appreciated. Elsevier is taking the time to to understand the minorities and I think that's a very powerful thing. People with this, with zebras often feel like little people uh, in comparison to some of the bigger conditions out there and there's nothing against those big conditions at all or those unfor unfortunately those uh, more commonly uh, experience conditions. It means a great deal to have Huntington's disease represented as one of the zebras. To learn more, visit www.osmosis.org/zebra.